The greatest enemy of freedom is the alignment of political power with world. This alignment destroys the common world, that is, the natural world of localities and the local economies of household, neighborhood, and community, and so destroys democracy, of which the common world is a foundation and practical means, as this leaves society with the tragedy of the commons. The tragedy of the commons is a situation in a shared resource system where individual users acting independently according to their own self-interest behave contrary to the common good of all users by depleting or spoiling the shared resources through their collective action. The concept originated in an essay written in 1833 by the British economist William Foster Lloyd, who used the hypothetical example of the effects of unregulated grazing on common land, also known as a common. In Great Britain and Ireland, the concept became widely known as the tragedy of the commons over a century later. In modern economic context, commons is taken to mean any shared and unregulated resource, such as the atmosphere, ocean, rivers, crude oil, gold, and a host of other mineral resources. The tragedy of the commons is one way of making a demand for accountability for the overexploitation of the commonwealth of the people without a corresponding payback to developing the area so affected by the environmental devastation and widespread pollution. Nigeria is a true reflection of the tragedy of the commons. She sits on huge natural resources and earn for herself the poverty capital of the world. Less than 1% of our population plunders the state resources and spill the wastages on our faces. Why 90%, the other 90% left, either are confused, ignorant, or incorrigible. In Delta State, for example, the government controls the commonwealth and continuously sideline Ndokwa land. Ndokwa bears the brunt for the economic sins of the state while she sits as the headquarters of the tragedy of the commons. A state where her immediate past and present governors, His Excellency Dr. Emmanuel Udwan and His Excellency Dr. Ifan Yokoa, respectively, are both medical doctors, but the health center in Indokwa land have remained under lock and key for the past 14 years. The inequitable distribution of the commonwealth of the states and the unholy marginalization of the Indokwa nation is a recipe for conflict, if not well checked and corrected soonest. The commoners in Nigeria have a duty at this point to make a statement for themselves as the government have consistently failed them to this day. In an attempt to assuage the plight of the commons, the federal government created a 13% derivation fund for states with oil resources. Why the federal government hands the resources to the states for the commons, the state converts it into other use. So the commons are trapped in their tragedy. I wish to advocate, therefore, that the state must re-examine its strategy and create an equitable balance for wealth creation for the commons and deliberately pull them out of poverty and tragedy. A proper management of resources and a diligent distribution of same will extinguish the tragedy of the commons and abate their misgivings. I shall go to Rabbi again. It's <laughs> Rabbi. It's not from is Rabbi. He's not tired of seeing okay. you. Aside from him going to Rabbi, is this Undukwa matter? We saw you on TV. This Undukwa.
We saw you on TV. Undokwa, but one thing you should know is that in Undokwa is only prison. He has no doors. That's his own pain. Gone, gone. That's so you cited federal prisons there. We should be going to prison. Uh, no, we now is the health center that hasn't been open for 14 years. How so? Udokwa Kwani is a representation of the larger. decadence in the larger society. True. Correct. Um, it's um, a metaphor mm. for the Nigerian states that um, in the midst of plenty, a land so blessed yet so poor, Very true. in the midst of po plenty, we are the poverty capital of the world. Imagine that. You see, um, you go to oil-rich states, Baeza, Rivers. When you leave the state capital, you begin to wonder if um, <laughs> you are still in the state, the so-called oil-rich states. You go to Delta State. Sometimes I traveled from Asaba to Wari, passing through Ndokwa, Ozoro, you know, and all of that. And I asked myself, is this the grade A road that they said Okawa is doing? And immediately, I, then I got to worry. I left worry years ago, and I got to worry, and I asked. I called the commissioner for information. I said, Oga, there's nothing here. Mm. There's nothing I want to there. talk about it. He said, uh, you see, our first four years, we use it to study uh, the hey, topography. When we, when we, when we, we write the exam. <laughs> and what we can do. <laughs> and so, and I, and I was like... This is, this is sad. Perfect. You know, we sit down in Lagos here, we lambast government, governor in Lagos. That's no wonder, you know, governor, Lagos, you know, always feels that, look, they are top notch, they are doing excellently well. Because governors in our That's states, in every other state, it's horrible. It's a shadow of what you would describe as, as governance. And, and I'm not sad, but I, I, I commend you for being a voice. The school fees that the Kwan Kwan contributed <laughs> is not wasted. <laughs> you know, I, I, I ask myself yeah. that if the healthcare institution is shut down for 14 years, so in this season of COVID-19, you drink Agbo. Agbo. Wow. You know, you, you know it, it reminds me of what Bill Gates said about the need yeah. for us to go and invest in, in it's, our it's, healthcare, it's, primary healthcare. Yeah. Especially yeah. instead of okay That's now of they will use it for hundred billion be four hundred billion procurement they will bring your own share to Ndokwa some contractors have made money at the same time Ndokwa people will still die they will expire before they get to Ndokwa. diseases yeah. because they, they, they have storage. no care, let me care really agree with you. We don't have uh, storage, former probably. Governor Peter Obi has even come out that if the federal government wants him to negotiate this purchase, yeah. he should not take more than 150 billion. Let's yeah. save 200 billion. Yeah. He said they shouldn't use a contractor, that they should do it directly. That it Why would they use contractors? Because the budget is for contractors. Because somebody has to make money. If they don't use contractor, how do you think? Uh, how do they kick back? The boys. Know, the boys will share something and then they will not use for election. Well, that's, 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 oh. that's our problem. Meanwhile, basic, basic things are mm. not. Sad. I keep remembering uh, Professor Likoye Ransom Kuti. God and the bless work his memory. He did. God bless his memory. And the work he did, you know, for that the private. That time stealing was not this. You know, uh, it's, it's, was, uh, you know before it was 10% he kicked back and you will be tried for it. But now mm. it is. it became 90% kickback. Hell. Now it is 100%. In certain instances, 100%. So we take that away. While we continue to push for the best option for Nigeria and Nigerians, we urge you not to relent in playing your role, no matter how small. Don't forget the advocacy continues on our social media platform on Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NGO on Twitter, and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with our product brokers, go to plustvafrica.com slash the advocate ng. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Have a great weekend. Bye. 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 Have a great week. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired 
to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.